Hey, Dr. Shakib here from Irvine Spinal Wellness Center, your Irvine chiropractor. Let's talk about allergies. What are some of the things you can do short of claiming you have allergies or you get allergy shots that you can do? What's the allergy hygiene? Let's talk about that, so stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, some of the things that I come across in my office is complaints about allergies. So a lot of times people think, well, okay, I've got allergies. Um, they take meds for it. They get shots for it. But what is a proper allergy hygiene? I made that up, by the way. But some of the things you gotta be aware of, this is more for prevention and maybe uh, to avoid any exacerbation of your allergies. Number one, make sure you take a shower at night instead of morning. Why? Because you wanna get whatever it is that may be in the air that gets on your hair and your body washed off. So don't go to bed with all that stuff on you, getting them on your sheets and your pillows and breathe it all the time. If you have allergies to those, you wanna get rid of them. That's number one. Number two, a lot of times people actually take a shower and then with wet hair and cold air, they go outside. Not that that's gonna cause allergies, but that's extra work by the very part of your body that is very sensitive and it needs a little more support. Don't add to the pile of stuff it needs to do if you don't have to. So make sure that if it's cold outside, you're not taking a shower and go to, going outside. So don't, don't let the temperature in your cranium, which is part of the functions of your sinuses, to become extra for it. The other thing also is that you may not take a shower in the morning, but when you go outside first thing in the morning, um, the air is too cold. So cover your nose with it so you're not breathing cold air. Once again, um, uh, adjusting the temperature for the brain function and for your cranium is one of the functions of your sinuses. So you don't want to add more tasks to it if it really needs to recuperate. Generally speaking, when it comes to nutrition, it's a good idea to have a a general um, dose of immune boosters given to yourself. What does that mean? Immune boosters um, might go to our olive leaf extract, oil of oregano, maybe like a drop in the morning under your tongue. It hurts like hell, so you may want to dilute it. I kind of like it um, as is. It burns everything and I pray that I don't get to cough or sneeze, but it's a really good cleanser, so to speak. So what I'm trying to explain to you is get the allergens or the things that you're allergic to off of you and don't challenge the very part of you that is weak, which is your sinuses and support yourself nutritionally speaking. So here's the really different things you should know about. Everything in, when it comes to health and disease has three components, the actual structure, the nutrition, and then there is emotions attached. So not that I'm, I deal with that aspect of it, the emotional aspect of it, but emotional aspect of sinus issues, which is not allergies necessarily, but since we talked about sinuses, has to do with unshed tears. So whatever that means to you, that's a component that typically we never think about. So hope you enjoyed this video. It was not so much chiropractic, but it's health and it's prevention. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you watched, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget, I now have a podcast, Life and Health Matters with Dr. Shaki which is available on Apple and Google Podcasts and on Spotify. This is not just about health, it's about life and health. So make sure that you check it out, subscribe, and share it with other people. And thanks for watching. Take care.